President Uhuru Kenyatta has assured Kenyans that he will respect the decision of the Supreme Court to uphold the election of his deputy William Ruto as a president elect addressing the nation from state house on Monday Uhuru assured that there will be a smooth transition and that the process had already begun he called on all Kenyans to respect the decision by the apex court however he asked that they should hold the incoming government accountable notably Uhuru did not congratulate the president elect for his win in the August 9th polls that was appealed by the Supreme Court. President Kenyatta's address came hours after the seven-judge bench led by Chief Justice Martha Koome dismissed seven consolidated petitions which were challenging Ruto's victory. Let's listen. Let's listen in. And because democracy is a work in progress, I urge the country to respect the institutions that midwife our new leaders. And in doing so, I also urge citizens to constantly put them under scrutiny, for this is the civic duty of every single Kenyan. In particular, this civic duty requires every citizen to constantly put the truth presented by our constitutional institutions to test. And they must test them for coherence, but also for correspondence. They must constantly scrutinize the coherence of the truth given by these institutions and to ask themselves whether the truth has been coherent from one election to another. Has there been a consistent pattern that is acceptable to our democratic ethos? We must ask ourselves is it about numbers or is it about process? Which of these two is it? And can, and can our institutions rule one way in one election and another way in another election without scrutiny? I do invite you Kenyans to keep vigil and indeed to hold all institutions to account. The second thing we must place under scrutiny is whether the truth given by institutions has correspondence. That is, do the truths given by our institutions correspond with what is observable by the citizen. True beliefs and true judgments must correspond to the actual state of affairs. But do our constitutional institutions meet this threshold? While we must appreciate these institutions, we must also hold them to account at every juncture. And their truth has to be consistent and coherent. This is the only way we will build our democracy. I want to take this opportunity to thank every single Kenyan for holding a peaceful election. And for this, I want to thank God and I want to thank our political parties, but I also want to thank every single individual Kenyan 
for bringing us thus far. I want to wish well all who have won as they guide our country into the future. And I thank you all for the opportunity to serve and I say may God bless you all and may God bless this great Republic of Kenya. Asante.